Hello and welcome to this Gloucestershire College um, webinar about apprenticeships. Um, my name is Andrew Bates and I am a Vice Principal here at Gloucestershire College. Firstly, a big welcome to everyone listening this evening. In these uncertain times, I appreciate that you're taking the time out to listen to our webinar and I hope that you find it useful. Of course, we would have all preferred to welcome you to the campus and meet you face to face. However, please be rest assured that the team here will be doing everything they can to support you in finding out about apprenticeships and making applications. Before we start, please note that the presentation has been pre-recorded, so I won't be answering questions live. However, please do submit any questions via the chat functionality. We will endeavour to answer these as we go along tonight, or we will follow up after the presentation. This webinar will give you an opportunity to find out more about apprenticeships, but also find out about more about what it means to be an apprentice and how to apply. Before moving on, I must point out that all the photos and the people you see in this presentation are all real apprentices at Gloucestershire College. We offer a wide range of apprenticeship subjects at, at Gloucestershire College, ranging from marketing to business to hairdressing to construction to engineering. We offer over 80 different pathways and different subjects um, in apprenticeships. So whatever it is you're looking for, we'll be able to find a solution for you here. So what is an apprenticeship? Let's start off with some of the basics and hopefully bust some of those myths. An apprenticeship is a real full-time job, so you will be employed by um, the business that, you, that you're working for and you will be paid. You will earn a salary whilst you're learning um, and this um, will be negotiated between you and your employer. There'll be a debt-free route to a degree. So if you um, want to do a degree, then you will be able to do a degree apprenticeship um, if that's what you want to do. Um, and there'll be no um, fees for this from yourself. Um, the government would fund um, all this training. All of our apprenticeships come with nationally recognised professional qualifications that you'll earn, that you'll learn alongside um, your, your apprenticeship. So for example, if you're doing an accountancy apprenticeship, then you'll, uh, you'll get the AAT qualifications. If you're doing a plumbing apprenticeship, then you will get the recognised national plumbing qualifications that you require. You will get up-to-date industry training. All of our tutors um, are up to date trained with the latest industry trends um, and that's what you'll get with your training here at Gloucestershire College. Training takes place um, in a number of ways depending on your course. Um, some of the training will take place one day a week in college and the rest of the time at your employer or some of our courses all the training will take place at your workplace. We have a range of levels here at the college, ranging from level two right the way up to level six, and I'll talk more about the levels later on. So, some frequently asked questions that we get here at the college in terms of apprenticeships. How do apprenticeships work? A typical apprenticeship involves spending four days a week at work with one day at college. You'll be regularly visited by a training coordinator who will assess you in the workplace and help you keep on track. An apprenticeship can take from 18 months to complete up to five years for a degree level apprenticeship. Can you go to university after you've done a, an apprenticeship? You can go to university with an apprenticeship. Yes, you can. A distinction in level three advanced apprenticeship is equivalent to two A-levels and 48 UCAS points. Can you get a degree? Yes, you can. We offer many degree level apprenticeships in business, computing and engineering. Check out our university level prospectus guide and that will find out more. When do apprenticeships start? Apprenticeships can start any time. Employers don't necessarily work in the same academic year as school, college and, and a university does. However, it's important to remember that you must stay in education until you're 18. So apply for a full-time course at, at the same time as an apprenticeship and you have a backup plan for September. Who can do an apprenticeship? 
Different apprenticeships have set entry criteria depending on what level the apprenticeship is. You can find entry criteria on our course pages. Anyone can do an apprenticeship as long as they meet the entry criteria and people of all ages and all backgrounds do apprenticeship. It's a popular way to change or progress a career as you can still earn while you learn. How much do apprentices get paid? Currently, the national minimum wage for apprentices is £3.90 per hour. The minimum apprenticeship wage applies to those 16 to 18. Those over 19 are over in their first year. All other apprentices are paid the national minimum wage for their age or no more. This uh, wage will depend on the employer and your negotiations with, with, your, with, your, with your employer. Where can apprenticeship lead to? If it's a career you're looking for, nine out of 10 of our apprentices stay with the employer after their career and, and a quarter of those are offered promotions. You can study apprenticeships all the way up to degree level to help progress throughout your career. As I mentioned earlier, now I'll talk you through the different levels. We start off at level two, which is equivalent to GCSEs. Level three is equivalent to A-levels and level four and higher is equivalent to a degree. Subjects include accounting, business, business administration, engineering, HR, law, leadership and management and, and marketing. Depending on your experience within your subject will depend on what level of apprenticeship you start. If you have any questions about this, please get in touch and we can advise you which level you should start on. So why should you choose Gloucestershire College? Our staff are dedicated, skilled and ambitious for our apprentices. Everything we do at the college is for the success of the learner and we are very proud um, that 90% of our apprentices stay in permanent employment or progress into higher levels or receive promotion. This is due to the hard work we put in at the start which makes sure that apprentices are matched to the right employer. We only work with employers at the college that we feel will, will provide the support to apprentices, which is why nine out of 10 stay with that employer at the end of the apprentice. We are very proud of our success rates. They're in the top 5% nationally. And again, this is down to the hard work we put in at the start of the apprenticeship to make sure that the right learner is with the right employer. And also the amount of support that we offer to the apprentice and the employer throughout the apprenticeship. This would be with the training coordinator and the assessor um, and your academic tutor. All three of these people make sure that you're on track to achieve your apprenticeship. As I mentioned earlier, we have 80 different apprenticeship courses and we work with over 16 um, different employers in the county. So we will be able to find an apprenticeship to suit you. Next, I'll show a short video which um, was compiled by one of our apprentices and an employer that we work with. My name's Emma Paddle. Um, I work at Simplicity. I started as an apprentice doing business admin level three. I'm now the legal manager of the legal department. My name's uh, John Sandliney. I'm the director of uh, Simplicity. Uh, I run the sales, marketing, customer service and part management. So I chose to do an apprenticeship because I didn't really want to go away to university and um, rather stay at home. I wasn't sure what subject that I wanted to pursue, so um, looked at apprenticeships and decided what, that that was right for me. Over the years, we've um, had many apprentices. Uh, they've worked in different departments, whether it be uh, payroll, uh, accounts, administration. It's been a real asset to our business. I saw the apprenticeship at Simplicity through the local paper. Um, applied for it and went from there. I completed my apprenticeship in June 2014, um, so the year after I started. We are constantly innovating and looking to be the leader in our marketplace. So for our innovation and expertise, apprentices can, can come in and be part of a market leading organisation. So once I completed my apprenticeship, I actually moved over to our customer service department. So I was dealing with that for around two years um, and then a, an opportunity came up in our legal department which I went into and now I'm actually the manager of that department. I definitely recommend an apprenticeship. It worked out really well for me because as I said I wasn't really sure what subjects I wanted to pursue 
doing an apprenticeship gave me the opportunity to actually learn on the job, gain experience in it and earn money at the same time. So now I'm going to go through our top tips um, for your interview. So once um, you apply for an apprenticeship at the college, we will then do our best to find an employer um, that is looking for an apprentice like yourself. Um, then once um, you are matched with that employer, you would be expected to go in and have an interview with that employer to see whether they wanted to take you on as an apprentice. Below are some of the top tips that I'd recommend that you do before that interview. Do your research, take a look at their website. What's the culture? What do they offer their customers? What are they proud of as a company? And why do you want to work for them in particular? Familiarize yourself with the job description. Do you have any relevant experience already, transferable skills or an interest, or interest in what they're looking for? Practice interview questions at home. After looking at the job description, you should have an idea of what questions they might like to ask you. Ask a friend or a family member to help you rehearse your answers so that you're well prepared. Review your online social profile. Make your settings private and check that you're happy with what potential employers may see. Plan your journey. How are you going to get there and how long will it take? Ensure you get there on time and you have enough spare time so you're relaxed and comfortable before the interview. Follow up. Even if you have been unsuccessful, don't worry, it happens. But what's more important is that you can learn from your experience and ready for your next interview. Now I'll take you through how you find an apprenticeship. So there are two ways that you can um, find an apprenticeship. One is that you can find an employer yourself and come to the college um, and we will um, check that the employer is suitable and you'll be able to start with that employer. The other option is that you apply to us and we will try and find you an employer. Unfortunately, we always have more applications from apprentices than we do from employers. So my tip to you would be to search for vacancies yourself um, in the newspapers and online. If you're already in a part-time job, why don't you ask that employer whether they'd be interested in taking you on as an apprentice? And also, if you have specific um, employers in mind, then feel free to contact them directly. Most businesses in Gloucestershire are looking for young, energetic, enthusiastic um, people. So there's no harm in you emailing or writing letters directly to employers saying that you're keen to join their, their organisation. These are just some of the companies that we already work with in Gloucestershire. We work with over 1,600 different employers, right from huge multinational companies like Superdry, all the way through to local companies um, within Gloucestershire. As you can see, there's some examples of them there. Now I'm gonna take you through some of our facilities. Um, Below are our new cyber and IT facilities that you can see from our Gloucester, Gloucester campus. This is where our IT apprenticeships are, are delivered. These are state-of-the-art cyber and IT labs, um, which are some of the best in the country. Next are our engineering workshops and facilities. As you can see, we have extensive engineering facilities for our engineering apprentices from our Gloucester campus. We also have carpentry and woodwork facilities for our carpentry apprentices. Next, I'll show you my vote, our motor vehicle facilities, again, at our Gloucester campus. You will have a chance to come and look at these at some point in the future. Finally, I would like to thank you for watching and please do get in touch with us if you have any questions about this video or any questions about apprenticeships at Gloucestershire College. Please follow us on Facebook and on LinkedIn and those are or Instagram. Thank you so much for listening to this webinar today and hope to speak to you soon.